Not even JB Weld could save it. Man, I'm really bummed about that. I mean, yes, I it's cold out. I did apply a lot of pressure, but ah, that upsets me so bad. Hopefully I can just harvest the parts off of this and maybe I can turn this into a great thing one day, but this red piece is just garbage. <laughs> Okay guys, in today's episode we are going to repair the microphone shock mount for this Boya shotgun mic that I picked up off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. I broke this shock absorber um, right out of the gate. I broke it. First thing I did was break that right out of the package. Uh, it's really cold in my shop. It's like 20 degrees, so I don't know if it was because it was so cold, but I broke it. I'm gonna, I've contacted Boya. They're working with me on getting a new one, but in the meantime, I'm going to make my own do-it-yourself shock mount for a shotgun mic. So I've just got a little inch and a half, two inch piece of ABS pipe here. I've got a drill, a couple drill bits. I've got a saw, an Allen wrench set so that I can pull this little teeny screw off right here. The most important part to this whole setup is one, two, three, four rubber bands. All right, the first thing I need to do is I need to get this piece off of here. So I'm just gonna take this little Allen wrench and work that off of there now. And then I can just set this piece aside and I'll worry about that later. Now, what I'm going to do, at least the plan is, is I'm going to take this piece of ABS pipe and I'm gonna drill a small hole so that hopefully I can put the screw here in through the bottom of this and into this hole. I'm just going to take a marker and mark out that right there and just kind of come up with a spot right there. right through the other side. And the reason why I want to do that is because I want to have a whole straight across. The reason why I want a hole straight across is because I'm going to put in another drill bit and drill that a little bit. I'm going to drill this one hole a little bit bigger. Why do you ask? Am I drilling that hole a little bit bigger? Bigger? So I can get this tool down in there. Now I can take this, put this on the back side here until it kind of seats up a bit. Then I can fit my Allen wrench right through the top through that little access hole that I made. And I can barely reach that to try to tighten that up in there. Give that a little tightened and we're good. Okay, for this next part, I forgot to tell you about this tool. It's not too expensive of a tool. It's a ruler. You can use a tape measure. You can use any measuring device that you want. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to get kind of a rough idea on how wide our mic is for our application. So this mic is about three quarters inches um, wide on one end. It's about the same on both ends. So I'm going to cut that down a little bit and I'm going to go half an inch on here. What my purpose is, and I'll grab my sharpie, is I'm just gonna I'm just gonna mark this out right there and right there. And then I'll do the same thing across the way. And what you're trying to do is we're cutting some lines here to put these rubber bands on. Yeah, this saw's not working. I need to go get a little bit finer tooth. Okay, I've grabbed a hacksaw because it's got a little bit finer blade on it, just so I can get this thing 
to start. I don't know if you can see those score marks in there, but I've got four score marks here, and now I'm going to go this other direction. And I'm just using the icrometer. I don't know if you can see that on the camera there, but I've got one, two, three, four. I got a pair straight across, and I got a pair straight across. Okay, now I've just grabbed my square, and I'm going to take my sharpie, and I'm just going to run a couple lines straight across. I'm just lining that square up. Kind of eyeballing it a little bit. I'm just drawing some lines straight across so that I know where I can do a matching set on the other side. Now I'll just transfer these lines to the edge of this other side so that I can see where I need to run my saw on this other side. Okay, now we're going to go put this in the vise for a second. Being cautious to not get that cold shoe caught up in the vise and break it. So I started with a hacksaw, now I'm just going to take a regular saw and finish the work. I don't need to go down terribly far. All we're trying to do is make a spot for the rubber bands to fit. Those rubber bands are going to fit in these little grooves here. Alright, now I'm just finishing up these cuts with a triangle file. And I'm just doing that just so that I have a little bit wider opening. So when I go to put these elastics in place, it'll be easier to install them. Taking a little semi-circle file and I'm just getting in there, cleaning out those burrs that are on there. Okay. Now, we're going to take our rubber bands and put them to work. All right, you see where we're going with this? Now we're gonna take our microphone. And we now have ourselves a DIY shotgun mic holder. Pretty cool, huh? One more thing that we're going to add to this real quick. Got our dead cat on there. All right, friends, check it out. I've got it mounted to my newer camera cage. So 
She's got this little magic arm. I've got this camera cage. A lot of my filming gets done inside this camera cage. This cell phone mounts inside there. Then I can mount my light. I can mount my uh, my new shotgun mic there. So I'm pretty excited. You know, I was able to overcome defeat. In my other video, I broke the shock mount. But we overcame. Now I can use this shock mount here. Alright guys, I'm pretty excited with how this uh, shock mount turned out for my Boya shotgun mic. So grab yourself some rubber bands and a piece of scrap pipe and you can make yourself a little cheap mount for your shotgun mic. Appreciate it. If you like seeing little hacks like this, subscribe below, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.